Most patients with sudden cardiac death, which is defined as a sudden, unexpected um, stopping of the heartbeat, um, it happens by definition suddenly. So they're they're caught off guard, as are are their families and and uh, um, uh, physicians. But there are predisposing conditions. So patients with heart disease are at a higher risk. Um, patients that have genetic um, problems with the electrical system of their heart are at higher risk. But there is a group of people where it is unknown. Um, and we don't understand why they have these unexpected death syndromes. It's been seen across the world, um, Southeast Asia, uh, death syndromes in young men. And closer to home, you see this once in a while. You hear about a, a terrible event that occurred with a, a young athlete or even in, in children. And so one of the reasons that our work has been um, well received is because we've identified a factor that we can now start to look in patients, those with pre-existing conditions, but also um, perhaps in the general population to see are there abnormalities in the levels of this factor mm -hmm. and could that predispose people that we didn't know before to now uh, uh, the risk of, of sudden cardiac death. The work of Dr. Jairaj, who's the lead author on this effort, um, he was interested in arrhythmias, or which are these electrical abnormalities that occur in the heart. And he hypothesized that if they're prone to heart failure, maybe there's a problem with the conduction system as well. And so we began our studies and found that this factor, it's called KLF15, this gene as you called it, um, can regulate the electrical activity of the heart. So that was observation number one. Mm -hmm. The other comment that you made was about linking it to time of day. So we have known now for many decades that the occurrence of heart failure and particularly sudden death has a predilection to the early morning hours. And so we hypothesize here's a factor that causes heart failure. It causes electrical abnormalities in the heart that look like they would predispose the animals to sudden death, just like people. Mm -hmm. And we wondered, does this factor function during different parts of the day? And indeed, in, in studies that are um, very um, uh, detailed efforts that are published in this work, we linked the expression of this factor, KLF15, to your daily rhythms, your day-night rhythms, the so-called daily biological clock. Mm -hmm. So the importance of this work is that it is the first link between the biological clock and the electrical activity of the heart. And it offers us now a new way to think about electrical abnormalities of the heart and the most scary one being sudden cardiac death.